we are Saturday, July 25th. And last week when we checked, we found our two unmarked queens. So took the occasion to put a mark on their back. But I did notice a one swarm cell. It had jelly in it. Today we're going to monitor for uh, for more actually, for more swarm cells, see if they want to split. Let's get to it. Okay. Let's see how these girls are doing. Last time we were checked, they were well on their way to recovery, although not ready for honey super. So, let's see if they're doing better still. And in case they need a honey super, I brought one. Lots of bee bread and nectar and partially drawn on the other side. And yet it's still full of brood. So it looks like they're in full swing. Here's our queen. And you can see her right here. You can see the dot on her back. Yeah, there's eggs all over this frame. They seem very healthy. We'll leave them. And uh, hope they can catch up. Oh man, this is heavy. Completely full of nectar. This is a honey frame. It's going to be with our reserves for winter. The blend of brood and reserves. Let's see the other side. Full of eggs, full of larvae. Oh, they're doing pretty well. Look at this. This is a thing of beauty. I mean, it's incredibly good news, but it doesn't make for, for exciting video. But it does make me happy. The smoke. They're all clustered at the top and looking at me, so. Sorry. So it's a good way to avoid being stung is when their head is poking in the scenes between the frames it's usually a good idea to smoke them because if they're looking at you they're aware of you and they might uh, want to defend, uh, defend the hive so if they're clustered at the top looking out give them a little puff it'll help we had a visitor a very very large bumblebee So we'll do a full inspection for this hive because, well, swarm cells also. 
there was one at least. See, there's more there. They're building three cells. And one of them has a jelly. Now, I'm not going to get rid of it just yet in case the queen's gone. Otherwise, I'm going to, once I sputter, I'm going to remove those cells. A really nice frame. Full of eggs. <laughs> now, the thing about drone is, since I see one right here, they do not sting. So you can practice grabbing Ugh, come on I don't want to squish it drones are a good way to start practicing catching queens they they don't sting so the trick is to catch them by either the wing or the thorax never the abdomen always the part right behind the head and you gotta be gentle because even if it's the harder hardest part of the body it's still just a bug so you gotta be gentle I'm gonna get let go of this poor little drone. There you go, little fella. And keep on with the inspection. Solid sheet of brood. Yeah, filled with larvae and eggs. Put a bit of reserves on the outside. That's a, again, a super healthy frame. I guess that's why they want to start swarming. There's another big drone crawling around. Well, if you can see the guy, right here. Let's try practicing again, catching a drone. Got him by the thorax. There you go, little fella. Well, this inspection looks pretty uneventful. Other than it being very healthy. Looking full of honey. On both sides. Oh, that's good, they started drawing it.
very young larva combined with the uh, older brood. The queen's been laying here. This is queen cup. Was empty. And that's a solid sheet of honey. one is starting to look really really good and they're making a cup let's see if there's any jelly in it nope it's filled with honey I'm gonna put it on the outside best to have boot frame towards the middle of the hive. So blue seems to be good, like moving along just fine. So saw a few cell, oh, swarm cells but there's a lot of room so I don't know why they were there. Maybe somebody can enlighten me. Let's close them back up and move on to the last hive for today. Now I had to clean up a huge mess, like there was a clump of drones that got torn off when I removed the last frame. So I just removed the whole thing from the frame and placed the frame back in. Everything else looks amazing, so we'll close them up and that's going to be it for this week. Alright, well... The day was mostly uneventful. It was pretty much all very good. Silver was showing signs of swarming. What I did is I removed all the swarm cells after confirming the queen was still alive. Other than that, it was pretty much a routine inspection. So, nothing exciting, but very good news. So, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.